Have you ever wondered if myths about sexuality are really true? What is the role of sexual education in preventing unwanted pregnancies? Hello to all lovers of psychology and sexuality. Today, we will unveil the sexual curiosities of women. If you are interested in these topics, make sure to subscribe and activate the notification bell to not miss our future videos. Also, leave us comments and share your experiences in the section below. Let's get started. It's natural to question the truthfulness of myths about sexuality. On our journey together, we'll debunk some of these entrenched concepts, providing fact-based information and dispelling misconceptions so you can enjoy a clearer and healthier understanding of sexuality. Sexual education prevents unwanted pregnancies by providing information about contraceptives, prevention methods, and sexual decision-making. It helps individuals to know contraceptive options, understand their use, and be aware of the menstrual cycle, enabling informed decisions and reducing the risk of unplanned pregnancies. Simulated orgasms. Some women have admitted to faking orgasms during sexual encounters. This may be due to various reasons, including social pressure or concerns about their partner's satisfaction. Sleep benefits. Masturbation before bedtime can help some women fall asleep more easily, as it releases relaxing hormones and reduces stress. Smile. A sincere and kind smile is attractive to many people, as it is associated with kindness and empathy. Social stigma. Despite its prevalence, pornography remains a stigmatized topic in many societies, which can hinder open and honest discussion about its impacts and practices. Speed of arousal. Men can have a complete erection in just 10 seconds, and sometimes they only need to look at something that stimulates them for a few seconds. In contrast, women require stimuli more related to the brain, such as emotional intimacy and connection. Stigma and discrimination. Individuals diagnosed with STDs may face stigma and discrimination in society, which can hinder their access to healthcare and the necessary support to effectively manage their condition. Stress response. Foreplay can help women release tension and reduce stress, allowing them to relax and fully immerse themselves in the sexual experience. In sub-Saharan African countries, sexual education programs in secondary schools include classes on sexual and reproductive rights, gender equality, and prevention of sexual violence. Swinging fantasies. Swinging fantasies, also known as partner swapping, involve consensual participation of couples in sexual activities with other couples. This can include partner swapping for sex, threesomes, or other sexual configurations. Tattoo, fetishism. This fetish involves sexual attraction to tattoos on the body of the partner or oneself, finding the presence of tattoos erotically stimulating. Technological fetishism. With the advancement of technology, new fetishes related to electronic devices have emerged, such as attraction to sex robots or excitement over virtual reality. Teeth fetishism. Some people find sexual arousal towards teeth, either admiring the aesthetic appearance of a partner's teeth or engaging in erotic activities involving teeth. The concept of positive sexuality. Positive sexuality refers to a respectful, non-judgmental, and empowering attitude towards sexuality, which promotes pleasure, equality, and consent in all sexual expressions. The effect of music on sex. Music can influence sexual arousal. Some people find that certain music genres, such as jazz or R and B, can create an intimate and sensual atmosphere. The heart during orgasm, orgasm can significantly accelerate your heart rate. In some cases, the heart rate can reach 180 beats per minute during an orgasm. However, note that this does not replace regular physic. The impact of culture on sexuality. Culture plays a significant role in shaping attitudes, beliefs, and sexual practices. What is considered acceptable or taboo in terms of sexuality can vary significantly from one culture to another. The importance of self-exploration. Knowing and exploring one's own body is essential for a healthy sexuality. Self-exploration can help people understand their preferences, limits, and sexual desires. The importance of touch. 
Physical contact, such as hugs and massages, releases oxytocin, the love hormone, promoting emotional bonding and intimacy in relationships. The influence of the media. The media, including film, television, and music, can influence attitudes and beliefs about sexuality by perpetuating gender stereotypes, idealizing certain body types, and promoting specific sexual behaviors. The power of eroticism in creativity. Eroticism is not limited to sexual activity. It can also fuel artistic and literary creativity. Many artists have found inspiration in sexual themes to create meaningful and expressive works. The role of female pleasure. For a long time, female sexual pleasure has been overlooked or minimized compared to male pleasure. However, recognizing and valuing female pleasure is essential for equitable and satisfying sexuality for all individuals. Themed festivals. Some festivals and cultural events include activities and performances related to the Kama Sutra, such as plays, dances, and art exhibitions celebrating its legacy. Time and patience. Anal sex requires time, patience, and gradualness. Rushing can result in discomfort or pain. Toys designed for anal sex. There are sex toys specifically designed for anal sex, with shapes and features that maximize pleasure and minimize the risk of injuries. Toys for sexual rehabilitation. Sex toys are sometimes used in sexual rehabilitation programs to help individuals regain sensation and sexual function after injuries or surgeries. Treatments. There are several treatment approaches for premature ejaculation, ranging from psychological therapies and ejaculation control techniques to medications and desensitizing topical creams. Types of anorgasmia. There are two main types of anorgasmia. Primary, in which the individual has never experienced an orgasm, and secondary, where the individual has had orgasms in the past but no longer experiences them. Underwear fetishism. Underwear fetishism involves sexual attraction to intimate garments, such as underwear, stockings, or lingerie. These garments may have connotations of intimacy and sensuality for those with this fetish. Use of ambient music. Soft and sensual music can create an erotic atmosphere during foreplay, setting the tone for intimacy and emotional connection between partners. Vaginal orgasm versus clitoral orgasm. While clitoral stimulation is a common source of female orgasms, some women may experience vaginal orgasms from stimulation of the anterior vaginal wall, known as the G-spot. Variability. The male orgasm experience can vary in intensity and duration. Some may have more intense or prolonged orgasms than others. Variation in penetration. Preferences may include positions that allow for varying depth and angle of penetration, such as reverse cowgirl or missionary with legs closed. Varied symptoms. STDs can present a wide range of symptoms, ranging from abnormal discharge, painful urination, genital ulcers, to more general symptoms such as fever, fatigue, and muscle pain. Human sexuality is a fascinating and diverse field that never ceases to amaze us. Sexual curiosities unveil the wonderful complexity of the human experience in the intimate realm. As we explore and understand these facts, it is crucial to remember that each individual is unique in their sexual experience. Respecting and communicating with your partner are the keys to a satisfying and healthy sexual life. Sexual education and understanding are essential tools for fully embracing our sexuality.